guys, it's Bonnie, and as you guys have seen from the title and the thumbnail, I've decided I must be a food critic because I'm trying every single Aldi Halloween sweet, except the ones with peanuts in, because there's no way you're getting me to eat a nut. I don't know how many sweets you guys can see in the thumbnail, but there is 12 different things I'm going to be trying today, some of which are chocolatey, some of which are actual sweets and a couple of them are by the brand Bebito is how I think you say it I have no idea it's this brand here which I have found in other shops normally corner shops but it was still part of the Aldi Halloween stuff so I thought I'd get it my store only had two sweets by that brand so I'm gonna start with those two the first one we have are these fizzy fangs which I actually normally like these so hopefully they're gonna be good I also want to quickly say that these are all of the vegetarian sweets I didn't pick up anything with gelatin in because I'm vegetarian so I I've not technically got everything, but I've got most of it. It was actually quite surprising that not everything is vegetarian because normally when they make their own sweets with their own brands, they try and make every single thing at least vegetarian or vegan. So it was very confusing to see that with some stuff I couldn't have. So I'm happy I actually checked. So this is what the fang looks like. They smell so good. They definitely smell like they're meant to. They smell more pick and mix than normal. They smell like a mix of the pick and mix fangs and then pick and mix giant strawberries. So we're going to try it. It's a lot softer than I thought it would be. I definitely was expecting more of a hard texture like most vegan gummies are. So that's quite surprising. And there's also a taste that I don't really know in there. It does taste a bit more chemically than any other brands that I've tried that made these sweets, but they are still quite nice. I will eat these, but I don't think I'd ever pick them up again. Okay, last bite. Mmm. They're all right. I've just read the back and it says there's strawberry and cola flavor, which actually makes sense whilst eating it. I've never really had anyone make them cola flavour, so I was really confused by that. I'm definitely more of a cherry cola fan than a strawberry cola fan, so I think that's where it kind of misses the mark. It's like weird artificial strawberry and weird artificial cola do not make sense together. And now we are going to be trying the gummy brains. Now these are meant to be bubblegum flavour. These are also much easier to open. The other ones I had to cut the packaging open, but these I ripped immediately. And this is what they look like. They definitely look like a bubblegum sweet. And they smell like a bubblegum sweet. Bubblegum isn't typically one of my favourite flavours, so I don't know how I'm going to like this, but I will still try it. They're quite small, so I'm going to put the whole thing in there. Oh, they're even softer. It's going to sound really weird, but they taste more like Vimto than they taste like bubblegum. If you've ever had like the Vimto chews, like the ones that look like chew it, like the small, small square ones, they taste identical to that. And the texture is like a much softer version, like if they're melted a bit, but without the stickiness of being melted. I've got to say, seeing they were bubblegum, I wasn't expecting to like them, but I actually think they're really nice. They do have more of a bubblegum aftertaste, but the first taste is like fully Vimto chews to me. That was actually really weird. I'm going to be trying chocolate next. I think that's the next category I'll go into. And I picked myself up a little iced latte in my little cup. To hopefully like stop the claggy feeling that chocolate often gives so there are four chocolate items the first one i'm going to be trying is the scary chocolate lollies now they come out with this for every season they come out with them for easter halloween and christmas so i already know that i like them and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if the main reason i decided to do this video was just so i could buy these these are not difficult to open at all and then we have our little images now mine has melted a little bit you can see where it's melted it has got a little bit of a sugar bloom don't worry guys that is totally normal I don't know if that melted in my car or if that melted when I bought them, but I have a little Frankenstein one. Let's try it. Ooh. Mmm. The way it's melted, it gets really thick and I don't love that. That's really good. The sugar bloom doesn't taste the best. Normally some chocolates will have like no issue when it's got a bit of a, like where it's melted and gone white, but this one does taste a little bit stale. Oh my god. You really have to bite down on that. I'm going to be completely honest and say that that doesn't taste as good as I remember. It doesn't taste as good as I used to, whether they've changed the ingredients or it's just because it's been sat there for a while, I'm not sure. Just want to clarify quickly, by saying they've sat there for ages, I don't mean as in I've had these for a long time. They only came into the stores a week or two ago, about a week before I started filming this, so I hadn't had them very long. I more meant maybe they've been sat in like a warehouse for a while, um, but yeah. Which is quite sad because I used to buy like 10 packs of these every time they came out so I could continue eating them. But I don't think I'll be doing that this time. 
But hey, I guess that saved me some money. I realized that I lost one of my chocolates. So I'm pretty sure the two I'm going to show you guys are the same. We've got the creepy milk chocolate characters and the eerie milk chocolate eyeballs. I'm pretty sure they're the same, just in different shapes and packaging, but we'll try both of them. I'm going to do the creepy chocolate characters first. I'm normally not the biggest fan of these kind of chocolates. And it looks like there are three different chocolates you can get in here. So we have this one, which is a mummy. We also have this one that looks kind of more like a zombie or a monster mummy. And then finally, we have a little vampire drag. I just checked the ingredients of these ones compared to the eyes, and they are exactly the same, but that's fine. And this is what it looks like inside. There's no indication of what the character is, and we're just going to take a bite of the top. Ooh. I wouldn't say it's horrendous, but it does kind of taste like a cheap Kinder Egg. Like, it's got that same texture as, like, a fully milk chocolate Kinder Egg. And it did explode the second I bit into it. I think these will be given out for trick-or-treaters because they're not really my favourite. I feel like I would eat this if I was given it as Halloween candy, but I wouldn't go out of my way to eat it, you know? Because I said I would, I'm going to try the eyeball as well, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing. I will say that chocolate is definitely one that gets stuck around your mouth. The lolly didn't really do that, but this I can feel like coating the inside of my mouth, which I'm not really a massive fan of, I'll be honest. It's a good job I brought my drink to stop that, hopefully. By the way, this is the viral um, M&S Kinder Bueno Latte that you may have seen going around. I kind of want to do a video on it, but I've just not had a chance. And here we go. Here is my green eyeball. What's weird is on the packaging, they put green up here and blue. But actually, they have green and like this brownie hazel color, which is very strange. I'm going to go for the green one though, and we'll see what this is like. I'm assuming it's also hollow. This one smells worse. I, I don't think I'll like this, but this is what it looks like inside. It's got like a little eyeball there. I don't like the smell. It smells like I ate one of those... I think it was like a bluey Kinder Egg from B and M, and it tasted horrendous, and that's what it smells like. But we'll try it. No, I've literally taken the smallest bite. That's no. I would not recommend those. That's like a two out of ten. I don't normally like to give ratings on food because I do have a condition, which means that most foods I don't enjoy, but. That is actually really bad. It's not nice quality chocolate either. I almost don't want to continue with the chocolate stuff, but I will just for you guys. I have another set of eyeballs. <laughs> These are the spooky popping candy eyeballs, so they are going to be different. I'm hoping they're going to be good. I think these ones are going to be solid chocolate. I might be wrong. This smells more like the stick lollies, so let's try it. Ooh. Sorry, what? I can definitely feel the popping candy now. I couldn't when I first bit into it. I I like the inside. I like that it's a different texture. I think that was just a little too much for me. Just so I wasn't expecting it. So like when I felt it, I was like, oh, that's strange. It does look like it could be one of my light bulbs though. It's a little more of a bright blue than me, but still blue. The thing I would say with that is because of how soft the inside is, it's kind of lost a lot of like the popping candiness, so it doesn't really pop as much as I was expecting it to. In fact, I can only feel the popping at all if I open my mouth like this. And even then, very weak. The last thing I have is this milk chocolate cream monster mouse. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same texture as this, where it's got like a white cream filling, or if it's more going to be like a aero type thing. This is what it looks like. It's quite cute, but we're, we're going to have to take a bite. I'm going to go for his face. I'm so sorry. Oh, tough. Mm. Okay. No. I'm not really a fan of it. I think it's nice. It's very soft on the inside. This is what it looks like. I think it's a very similar filling, but this is a little bit tougher than the eyeball one was. To me, it doesn't taste good. The thing about it that just tastes very gone off and just not very nice. That's definitely not something that I will try again. No, I, I know I was expecting something different. Like, it didn't say it'd be the thing that I thought it was. So, like, I'm not mad about that. But that is so far from what I was expecting taste wise as well it just doesn't taste good normally aldi's own brand have my favorite sweets and chocolate 
So the chocolate portion of this was quite disappointing, unfortunately, but hopefully the rest of the sweets can make up for this. And I'm going to try with what to me is a fan favourite. To a lot of people, they despise these, but they are shockingly sweet flying saucers. I really like flying saucers. I think they're very nice. They're also good for me because these were one of the one things that I could share with my cousin. Since they don't contain any animal products at all, so we could share them and he wouldn't have a leisure reaction. Also open very easily. They are one colour. I've never really seen them with one colour on each side. Normally they have two different colours, so that's very different for me. But it smells like a flying saucer. We'll wait for it to melt. Yep. Awesome. They say shockingly sweet, but they do have that sour tang to them. These taste absolutely phenomenal. I really like them. I mean, you can't really go wrong with flying saucers. And if you can, that's quite concerning. So the fact that they're good, that's good. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. Once I got flying saucers from one brand, I don't know who it was, and they were horrible. So they can go wrong, and they didn't. Which, after trying that chocolate, is not something I was expecting. The next thing I'm going to try is some more Dracula fangs, but these ones do not look like they're fizzy. This is what the packaging looks like for those. They're called Deathly Dracula fangs. Also an easy one to open. I don't know why some of them are really impossible. From the first smell, these smell like they're meant to. And they're tough. I genuinely think the only improvement for me could be if they were sour, but sometimes I like not having them sour. They taste like they've come right from the pick and mix, but without the kind of gross feeling you get sometimes when you don't know who's put their hands on the pick and mix. These to me are actually a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna eat all of them probably the second I finish filming and then have a massive tummy ache for the rest of the day. The next sweets we're gonna get is the tongue painting bewitched bats. I actually really like the taste of tongue painters. Not everyone does, but I think they're all right. And these are meant to be fruit and bubblegum flavored. I didn't realize they said the flavors on them. The other ones do say strawberry on, which is the flavor they're meant to be, not strawberry and cola. So this is what they look like. We do have a few other colors, which I'll show you in a second. This I think is my favorite color of them. So I'm gonna try this one. We've also got this blue and pink. Okay, these are normally so tough. So I'm, I'm expecting that already. That's really tough. Ooh. That tastes really good. They are definitely getting stuck to my teeth. Okay, another bite. I wonder if this was going to be the bubble flavour. Mmm. That's good. It's got a very specific taste that I can't nail down. My tongue's not blue yet. Maybe this one doesn't take my tongue that much because it's a darker colour. But let's eat the rest of it. I definitely like that one. That one I like. I've played my tongue a little bit. I think you definitely have to eat a few of them for your tongue to properly go blue. They don't taste like tongue paint as I had before, I don't think. So that was quite confusing, but I actually prefer the taste of these than I do to like the traditional tongue paint of sweets. And the fact that they're little bats makes it 10 times better. I've only got two sweets left and honestly, I think these are gonna be my favorite. So we've got blackberry flavor and fizzy coated fruit flavor sweets. If you know me at all, you'll know one of my favorite sweets of all times is strawberry laces and these are Blackberry laces or spooky spider webs. Another one that was easy to open, that was my first attempt. And we're just going to grab one and hope that it tastes really good. I do really like blackberry flavoured stuff. There we go. Oh, I don't know about the smell. It smells almost alcoholic, but try a little bit. Not what I was expecting. I'll try a little bit more. don't think I like these but I'll try the last bit I've got out just to have it no I feel bad but they are not the sweets for me I'll probably put them on some cupcakes but I'll probably peel them off when I eat them the final sweet we have are the Wicked Witches Wands, which are fizzy coated fruit flavour sugar confectionery. Now, I'm not normally a big sour straw kind of fan. Normally I only like the strawberry laces, but recently I've been getting into them. So I'm definitely hoping that I'm going to like this. If I can open it, that is. They have a very weird smell to them. Not what I was expecting i'm trying to see if it mentions any fruits in there but it does not anyway we will try this 
It smells like some kind of drunk grease in there. Ooh. Very sour. All I can really taste is sour. I feel my eyes twitching. I don't know about this one. It's definitely a taste I don't think I've had before, but the smell. The smell I've definitely had recently, so that's quite confusing. They're very sour, which is why I think I don't recognise the taste. But they're not that bad. I like that they're actually sour. I know a lot of sweets like that. They put like a little bit of acid on it and they're like, guys, super sour sweet. That is sour. That's like toxic waste level sour, if not more. I, I don't react much to sour because I love sour sweets so much. I reacted. I reacted to that, definitely. Um, I like it for that. Not sure about the taste, can't really taste much, just just sour. My favourite from this video are probably either the tongue painted bats or the fizzy, the non-fizzy Dracula fangs. I think those are really nice. Um, those are probably my top two. And my least favourite was honestly everything chocolate. Um, I don't know what's going on. Normally I love chocolate. I love Halloween chocolate, but that is just not, not it at all for me. But that is everything for today's Halloween video. I'll see you guys next week with another one and later on in the week for a non-Halloween one, probably. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!